Okay, there's only three things that you need to have downloaded for this, except for, I guess, your uh, your conferencing software, whether it be Zoom, Discord, or Skype. Uh, I don't know what else is being used, um, but that is OBS Studio. This is what's gonna act as our host for our game capture, or basically what allows us to record our, uh, our game, which is VR chat in this case. Uh, the next one is to have virtual cam installed. This is what's gonna use our game as, uh, as the webcam or what's gonna uh, make the game appear as our webcam. And then last but not least, VR chat, which is a free game on Steam. Once OBS Studio is installed, this is what it should open up to. Uh, what you wanna start off with is going into the settings, going into video, making sure your output is your native, and then common FPS values, uh, it doesn't really matter, but I'd like to set it to 60, just for the fluidity of the game. Then hit apply. Um, and then once you've got that set up, go down here to scenes and sources, and we're gonna add a source being game capture. Make sure it's set to capture any full screen application and then click okay. Next, you wanna go over to tools, open up virtual cam. And you can just leave all this. Uh, uh, just make sure you have it selected on your main OBS camera. And then you're going to hit start. And that's going to start broadcasting this as your webcam source. Um, so before I show you how that looks, we need to add something to show, uh, which in our case is going to be VR chat. So for OBS Studio to capture VR chat, uh, the game needs to be in full screen, which by default it does not launch in. It launches in windowed. Uh, so you're going to want to hold shift, click on play, and then uh, for the first part, I will be showing desktop mode. So you'll hit desktop, play, and still holding shift, it should pop up this configuration window. Set this to your native res. Make sure window is not checked. Uh, and then you can choose your graphics quality depending on your specs, uh, I believe. Uh, I'll just set it to desktop low uh, just to see if it gets the best performance. Um, and then just hit play. And uh, in the recording, you can see it right now, but it is being captured in full screen as well. Um, but if I go over to OBS as well, it is showing and filling up the whole screen, which is what we want. So as you can see, yes, you do need an account, but you can just log in with your Steam, which you'll already have if you had to download the game or if you just play games in general, um, or you can create a, an actual VR chat account. Um, I have my own, so I'll just go ahead and log in with that. So once you've loaded into VRChat, I believe you'll be in the default world after going through the tutorial. Um, so what you want to do is you want to find a world that has uh, a mirror. And what you want to do so you don't get bothered unless you want <laughs> unless you want people just popping into your class is new instance. Uh, I, I guess just set it to invite only, drop your portal, and then go through it. And it will load you into the to that world that you chose like I showed in the original video. Uh, so there's a mirror right here and you'll see that it has the option to do light or heavy. If you do heavy, um, if I can reach it, I'm playing a lolly. Um, it will show everything. I get, it will like reflect everything, um, which does take a little bit of a performance hit depending on your specs, or you could do light, I guess for the most simple one. Uh, and nothing will be reflected. Uh, except for just your avatar, which is, I guess, the main, more important part. Now, here's what you can do for the virtual cam. Now, obviously in my recording, I can, I can, I guess I can show you an OBS. So here it is an OBS. This is being streamed still right now as the webcam. So you can either just look at the mirror and I guess <laughs> move like this, but then you have uh, the mic icon and your crosshair, which I don't think shows when you go into third person. Oh, it does show, but it's really small. Uh, so you, what you want to do with this is once you're in this uh, perspective, I guess, um, press one and you can switch to, what would you call this? Third person front view, I guess. But as you can see, there is no crosshair or mic icon, which is much more preferred. And I guess this is such a sketch way, but to get a closer view, you want to <laughs> go up against a wall and then turn, oh shit, and turn towards, I guess, your character. And then you'll have kind of like this little webcam view. So as you can see here, uh, that's what we have. Maybe I should choose an avatar that's a little bit more appropriate. But yeah, so once you, you're in third person front view, I guess we'll call it, uh, let's open up our conferencing software. 
and basically go into the settings go to video and make sure you select the obs camera that you're using and there you go it will be set as i guess your webcam with that uh so let me just show you what that looks like in the meeting so if i hit new meeting here um this is what's gonna look like um and so i can't exactly sh show you at the same time i guess but it, it, whatever you do in here will show up uh <laughs> it will show up here so there you go you can use uh whatever you want as an avatar to get avatars, um, you just go into worlds again, scroll down until you find avatar worlds, and you'll find like a bunch of different types of worlds that you can, I guess, go through uh, until you find an avatar that, that suits you. So I've just loaded into the Smash world, and if you go over here to avatars, oh my god, there's a lot of them. Um... <laughs> So I've changed the Zella, and then most worlds should have a mirror, so you can at least, you know, before you go to, or I guess you could do it here, um, but this is this is pretty laggy to use as your background. Uh, you can look at yourself and check yourself out before uh, deciding if that's the avatar you want to go with. Uh, and to save an avatar, so you can have, I guess, kind of like what I have here, I have multiple saved, uh, is you open up avatar in the menu and you go to favorite. Uh, you can only favorite up to 16, which is kind of a shame. I feel like it should be more. Um, but yeah, so that's how you choose your avatar. Yeah, so in VR, I guess, especially because now uh, the Quest 2 is coming out. Um, when you're in VR chat, just make it look a little bit better. So you don't have, and when you're moving at least, you don't have this third person kind of thing. This is so weird. Oh, hello. Um, you want to go into your settings and you want to disable hollow port. Because uh, that's basically, I guess, to help with people's motion sickness. Um, uh, but here you can move, uh, freely this way. Uh, and so what you want to do for the virtual camera is go into camera on the settings and you want to open up stream camera. Now, obviously what this does is it streams the game. Uh, I don't know if this is upside down or not. Um, but let me see how this looks. Yeah. So you can see it. <laughs> oh my God. My hands are huge um you kind of want to hold it off to the side and basically wherever you leave it um it will it will leave it right there as you move uh, i'm looking through the nose of my headset to see if it's recording properly but yes uh yeah, you can basically do a lot with it you can you can move it in interesting in interesting places but yeah just set that there yeah uh, and then there you go i guess you you just do this in class and See what they think.